established the worship, Salah, paid the charity to the poor, Zakah. And this is the way, meaning ordained by God, most clear. Make sense? Now what's beautiful about this is when you present it this way, you can't really get a decent argument going with the folks who preach Christianity or Judaism. Because in fact, that's what their book says, same thing. So this actually eliminates a difference. Because one of the complaints that we hear very often is, well, your religion came after other religions and it's made up. In fact, Muhammad, peace be upon him, never claimed to made up a new religion. He never said that, nor did any of his followers. They all claim to be following the same way of monotheism, Hunitha, as was followed by Moses and Noah and Abraham and even Adam. Following what? The way. Real quick references in chapter 24, chapter 7, and chapter mm, 22 of, in the Bible of the book of the Acts of the Apostles. The word way is used to represent the people following Jesus. They were never called Christians. They were called people of the way and they capitalized it with a big W so that you would know that was the name of what they did. That was the proper noun. In Arabic and Hebrew and Aramaic, the Semitic languages, there are no capital letters. You have to know a proper noun by its meaning and also the word al or l in front of it. So when I saw this big W there, and it's still in the translation that we find today in every hotel and motel. When you go in and pull a drawer open by the bed, you find a Bible in there placed by the Gideons. Just look in there and you'll see it has that big W in it. So they were called the people of the way by Paul and he was the one who persecuted them. He said he was the one who persecuted them even unto death. And he called them the people of the way three times. And they capitalized the W. In fact, it's Paul who tells us in the Bible they were never called Christians until after Antioch when he carried the message to Antioch. And that was long after the disciples were uh, persecuted and gone except for a few. So they were originally called people of the way. The, the way of what? The way of Jesus. What way was the way of Jesus? Now that we need to look at that. And let's be fair about this. According to the Bible, and if we're going to talk about Christianity, I'm sure they wouldn't like me referring to something other than their book at least to start with, clearly states in the Bible that Jesus submitted his will to the will of God. Not only did he demonstrate it, it talked about him doing it, and then he ordered his companions to do the same. In his most trying situation, which was right before the big event, he prayed all night long in the Garden of Gethsemane with a strange prayer in which he kept saying over and over, let this cup pass from me. Now those who explain the Bible say this means he, there's an event coming up that he doesn't want to participate in because that's what it means. They used to pass a cup or a glass or something to people and each one take a drink and he said, I don't want to take a drink out of that because I don't want to be there. I don't want to be part of that. Let this cup pass from me even still though your will be done. Whose will? He's not talking to himself. Who is he praying to? He's praying to big G, little O-D, okay, God, Allah. And he's asking, let this cup pass from me, but even though your will be done. I'll accept it, but this is what I want. This is what Muslims pray all the time. We say, well, this is what I want, but I'll accept the cutter of Allah. Same thing. Now, when he tells his companions to pray, Matthew chapter 6, he says, pray thus. 
our Father. Now, Muslims will have a difference on that. Here's the difference. We're not going to say our Father. Why? A Father is a great thing, no doubt about it. Every one of us has a Father. We love our dads. We even just had Father's Day. Good. For a Muslim, every day is Father's Day, though. And every day is Mother's Day. We love our parents very, very much. But we don't compare them to God or God to them. We don't consider ourselves God's children because that puts God on a really low level. We're creation of God. And we don't inherit God or the other way around. He's God. He's the one who created everything. He's the one in charge of everything. And whatever he says happens. Kun fayakun. And the Bible says the same thing. Be and it is. Same thing. So that's the only problem we're going to have with that. The rest of it, listen to it. Which art in heaven. Yep, we believe that. He's not here on earth. Hallowed be thy name. We'll say hallowed be thy names. Sacred. Hallow means sacred. Like Halloween, it means sacred eve. Hallowed eve. That's what it was the night before All Saints Day on November 1st. Did you know that? Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, God's kingdom come, on earth as it is in heaven. God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That's what it says. That's exactly the word Islam, isn't it? God's will, not my will, 